If I get Corona, I get Corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. Two, three months. So we're just out here having a good time. Welcome back to the OG Network. I am the OG, the old guy, Jay. And uh, I didn't want to do any more of these coronavirus challenge videos. Uh, they're pretty sickening. Some of them are. None of them are entertaining. They really aren't. Not, not for me, anyway. Uh, who likes to watch videos of people licking toilets and, and handrails and uh, licking ice cream and putting it back in the freezer at the store? It's... And there are some other ones out there right now I'm, I don't want to bring up. But, uh, you know, I, I have the most mediocre YouTube channel on YouTube, and I have tens of followers. <laughs> I feel that they need this information. A lot of people aren't believing this is real. Um, they believe the coronavirus is real now, but they can't believe that uh, people have the attitude that, uh, that they do. And here's one such young man here. He made himself famous last week. Uh, he and uh, a bunch of his other uh, college friends decided they were not going to let the coronavirus stop them from having a good time in spring break. And uh, he was the guy who, uh, well, basically, he said he didn't care if he got the coronavirus. You know, doesn't care if I get it. If I get it, I get it. That's what he said. And now he's uh, he's changed his mind. Of course, he's all done partying. But uh, I'll give him credit. He did get back online and tell people that uh, he made a mistake. Um, you know, I'll, I'll give him credit for that. When somebody does something right, you know, you have to uh, you have to uh, acknowledge it. Now, Brady Sluter, I guess that's his name, Sluter, Sluter. Uh, he's the now infamous Florida spring breaker who basically said he doesn't care if he contracts coronavirus, and that he's just going to have a good time. He now has apologized. Sluter, who is a SoundCloud rapper from Milford, Ohio. Wait a minute, he's a rapper might want to change your name pal anyway he posted the apology to his uh, Instagram account saying I wasn't aware of the severity of my actions and comments and like many others I have elderly people who I adore more than anything in the world and other family members who are at risk and I understand how concerning this disease is for all of us so you know good for you for coming on and, and saying that um, doesn't change the fact that uh, because you and your friends did this sort of thing we had other people who just didn't care. You know, they uh, they didn't want to uh, be inconvenienced. You know, we're not worried about it. Photos show the coronavirus pandemic isn't stopping spring breakers from crowding beaches and partying on booze cruises. You know, I guess you got to have priorities, right? Um, that's. <laughs> Look how happy she looks. Yay, she's going to get the coronavirus. She's so happy, but she did get the party. So, you know, that's that's one thing. Anyway, what the heck? Um, it is uh, it is getting out of hand. Uh, people are just, they're not paying attention. When I say people, you'll notice most of these people are under the age of 24. Um, you know, it's up to people like us, like me. I'm 57. I'm an old guy. I don't know how old you are, but if you've got uh, young people around, whether they're your uh, you know, sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters, whatever, uh, nephews, nieces, and they're doing things like this, have a little chat with them. Let them know that it's, it's just dumb. Uh, we are in a crisis, and uh, we've got other things to worry about. So uh, please, just, just sit them down and say, hey, look, this is the way the world works. They're probably not going to listen to you, but give it a shot anyway. This guy here, this is one of the toilet lickers. Uh, <laughs> now he claims he has the coronavirus, which is not a, uh, that's not a happy thing. If he does have the coronavirus, I'm sorry he has the coronavirus, but you did this to yourself. Um, the people who actually did this interview, they uh, they don't believe he has the coronavirus. They're, they're very suspect of it. Now, if this was just one of the YouTubers that got online and said, um, 
the, you know, the coronavirus challenge and lick the toilet, that'd be one thing. But this is also one of the geniuses months ago who went into uh, supermarkets and videotaped himself uh, licking ice cream, taking the covers off ice cream containers, licking the ice cream, and putting it back into the store freezers. So other people, you know, would, would buy it and, and eat it. And he thought that was funny, and he put that online, along with a, a bunch of other kids. So he did that. Then he licked a toilet. Now he says he has the coronavirus. That makes it even worse, doesn't it? This guy's out there licking your ice cream. Even if it was faked, he might be one of these guys that uh, actually went in there, did it, and then bought the ice cream so nobody else you know, got it. There was a few that did that. What they're not considering is people don't see that side of the story. All they see is the news reports that somebody went into a, a, a Walmart or someplace and uh, licked the ice cream and put it back. Either way, the store still has to get rid of all that ice cream. It's, it's a tremendous waste. It's a waste of resources. Uh, ice cream might not be on your top list of uh, priorities right now to buy at the store, but you know, still you have the right to buy some ice cream if you want, and you do have the right to buy it without being lipped, licked by some jackass who now says he has the coronavirus. <laughs> you know? It's ridiculous. Um, but the whole point of this video is I have a coronavirus challenge for you. All right? I've got this challenge for you, uh, and I want you to pay attention. It's very simple. I challenge you and everyone that you know to not get the coronavirus. That's my challenge. See if you can do that. Um, I hope you can. My life depends on it. <laughs> you know, my well-being, uh, my, my friend's well-being, my, my relative's well-being. They depend on it do that okay and uh then maybe we'll get through this this whole damn thing i don't know i'm disgusted with the whole thing i know you are too to all my uh, tens of followers out there i think i'm up to 36 now so that's <laughs> that's all right please share this video it's not that hard to do there's a little share button right underneath the video like the button uh, well like the video rather i like the button but like the uh the video share it subscribe if you haven't done so already one of my videos is well over 500 uh, views now but i've still got 36 viewers uh 36 subscribers uh, that's that's kind of off kilter yeah i'm not viral by any means but 500 views you know that's that's pretty good um got to start somewhere you know one last thing got to check the baxter cam as you see baxter's not here he's uh he's out on the couch <laughs> he didn't want to be in here you I think he's doing that uh, whole uh, coronavirus distancing thing now he's a, he's a little scared uh, one final thing I forgot here here's something here's on a we're gonna leave things on a good note how's that instead of doing these uh, these challenges except for mine why don't you try something like this now I took this off the internet this morning I can't even remember what site it was but somebody has decided that they had more than enough and they put out this table I do hope that people who need it are, uh, are getting this um, and not just some guy shows up with a pickup truck and takes everything including the table and just leaves the sign uh, it would be very nice if this caught on uh, if you have a little extra you know share it along with somebody else but uh, okay that's it uh, that's I've done enough today that's that's long enough you've seen me long enough so until the next time I am the OG and take care of yourself be safe make wise decisions and take my challenge I challenge you to not get the coronavirus OG out